you know what we're never going to have while we exist on this planet? We're never going to have a problem-free world. There's always going to be some problem, some trouble, some shitty thing which is going to put a stress on people or hold them back or make them miserable or whatever. Some people think if everyone behaved according to their religion, everything would be wonderful forevermore. Paradise would reign and the children would want for nothing. Yeah. Pull your heads out of your arses and wake up to reality. If you wanted everyone to follow one faith, you would have to force them, fight the non-believers, kill the non-believers, compel conformity. Yeah, not going to happen. Humanity is a herd of cats, and even if you could get everyone to follow one god, it wouldn't magically solve all the problems of the world. Some people are living in a fucking dreamland. Having us all join hands and sing Kumbaya won't make our problems go away. We have to try to actually solve problems, deal with reality. We have to accept that as we solve problems, new problems will likely arise. Unforeseen or unforeseeable ones. Now, I hear a lot of people talking about a technological singularity that's going to happen at some point in this century. The emergence of a greater-than-human superintelligence, which can design successive generations of increasingly powerful minds. Some say this will create an intellectual event horizon, beyond which events can't be predicted. Okay, well, we don't know whether that's going to happen or not, do we? We can't say for sure. Some believers in this singularity say that it's going to be an event which changes everything. Problems will be completely eliminated. No more want. No more violence or crime. Paradise on Earth, right? It sounds like religious bullshit talk when I hear people going on like this. Say it with me, folks. There will always be problems. You know, throughout the 18th and 19th centuries, people were full of predictions about how the new machines of the time we're going to make things awesome and wonderful, perhaps for everyone. Things were going to get a lot more leisurely. And sure, the Industrial Revolution has done a lot of great things for humanity, but let's be under no illusions. It's caused a huge amount of problems. A huge amount of problems which couldn't have been conceived of back then. Can technology make our lives better? Yeah, of course it can. Of course. Is life today better for your average person than it was 100 or 200 years ago? Whatever an average person is. Well, it depends. It, it depends, yeah. But if you look at general trends in health, life expectancy, education, etc., things are a lot better now in many ways than they were, say, 100 or 200 years ago. However, what about the death toll of the Industrial Revolution? If you could put an accurate number on it. Think about it. Think about that death toll. But not for too long. Over the decades we've seen Many great advances in biotechnology, medical treatments have been revolutionised, life has been extended like never before, but new problems, new horrors have emerged.
people are still vulnerable to disease, bacteria has mutated. Yeah. The future is a super virus you never saw coming. Perhaps. The future will be problematic. People need to stop thinking about heaven or paradise or some sort of future garden of Eden or utopia. You know, the whole we're going to live happily ever after idea when this happens or that happens. It's a fantasy as old as recorded history. Or perhaps it's even older. You know, people like to dream. I know, I can relate to that. I'm a dreamer too. You've got to hold on to your dreams, right? Yeah, but keep your feet on the ground and keep your head out of your arse. There will never be a utopia or a technology that sweeps away all of our problems forever. And guess what else? No God is going to come bursting through the clouds to save us from ourselves. No paradise, folks. Sorry, not happening. There will always be struggle. That's life. Deal with that. And just remember, you're fortunate to be here at all. Very fortunate. So am I. Anyway, catch you later.